Good morning, you guys. So I'm gonna start getting ready by showering because I feel like my natural curls, especially in the winter, are just not really doing their best. They always get so dry. Like even look at my bang pieces. Like there's absolutely no curl to that. So I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna refresh my hair. As you know, throughout the years, I've used so many different like shampoos and conditioners to help my hair get healthy, but I usually use like a curl shampoo and sometimes I feel like that doesn't even really help as much with the hydration. So recently I've been using this Uberless. This is a hydrating shampoo and conditioner. They're both vegan. They are SLS free with ceramides and fruit extracts. So they're really healthy for your hair. I just feel like a lot of times other shampoos will strip my hair of just a lot of the essential oils that are in there. Um, which is not what you want like obviously you want to get rid of like greasiness in your roots But you don't want it to dry out your hair even more and I feel like that's what happens And then my curls just don't look as bouncy or as shiny So this does not give me that issue. This actually gives me also a lot of shine speaking of shininess So you guys have just been commenting about my hair health a lot lately And I definitely have been like trying to put in the extra work to take care of it So I've been loving this um, uber list. They also have some hair products that are really great, too I'll show you after my shower, but I'm just gonna wash my hair with these guys. Okay, done with my shower now. I know I hyped up this product a lot in the intro and I forgot how much I loved it. I should have hyped it up more. It literally smells like candy. Like using it, it's so good. Um, my hair feels squeaky clean and it's nice and soft. That conditioner, it's like a hair mask. It's not even just conditioner, it's so good. I like to let it sit in a towel just for a few minutes. I do like to let my hair air dry because it's a lot healthier for your hair. I'm also just gonna do my skincare for today and my makeup. I am gonna blow out my hair today. Um, I have a couple Uberless products. Um, these are my top two favorites right now. This is their Frizz Elixir. It's a two-in-one, like a thermal protection and anti-humidity, which I desperately need. And then this is their Smoothing Ritual Oil. Um, this I put on my hair, I think no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm blowing it out, whether I'm straightening it, um, or just using like my natural curls, this makes them look heavenly. Like going to a professional salon and getting your hair done and then this i usually only use it if i'm doing like a blowout so that it doesn't get like that frizzy look at the end um and so everything comes out like sleek when i pull it through i love that all of these products are also vegan and cruelty free so i know you guys will love it's so yummy i'm tempted to use a lot of it but it's so powerful and so good oh my gosh okay so i know i said that smells like candy but the oil it smells like walking through the gardens of Versailles. Like it's the most beautiful floral scent ever. This has orchid in it and argan oil. And so I think it's the orchid, obviously. This has vitamin E, marula, and moringa oil. So definitely a lot. Again, hydrating, hydrating, hydrating. We need even more than just the wash. Like you don't put on lotion once in the morning and then never again. Like you keep hydrating your skin just like you keep hydrating your hair. Get a little bit more in me. Need this energy for today for makeup i think i'm just gonna go super natural usually my natural makeup look just includes like obviously my skincare first i kind of just groom my brows into place i do under eye concealer blush gloss literally that's it okay so now we're in my little beauty vanity area i'm gonna do my hair and makeup we're gonna do a fresh out the shower get ready with me which i love right now i just put some moisturizer on my face um for my hair i wanted to just I don't know what struck the inspiration within me. We're going to do hot rollers today. Just like a messy little throw it up. I'll put like my inspiration on the screen. I don't know why I decided to do hot rollers today. I feel like I never use my hot rollers, but my hair always turns out like my favorite when I use them. I don't know why. So I have them heating up right now. We're going to do like a nice little natural makeup look today. But this morning, I just got a box from Westman Atelier of some makeup. I'm so happy they just sent me a little box. So we're going to look through what they sent me because this is a lot more than they had asked what I wanted. And I only said two things, but there's more than two things in here. So first, this was what I did say I wanted to try from them. And this is their skin act. Activator. So I'm gonna put this on. This is like a little I'm assuming it's like moisturizer slash primer, but I always like to start off with a hydrated base anyway, so I don't mind putting two moisturizers on. 
I don't know if this is primarily like a moisturizer or a primer, but looks really nice and glowy dewy. I also did already get dressed for the day. I'm just wearing something really just cozy and simple. My go-to look is just an oversized like knit white sweater and some like baggy jeans. <laughs> That's literally when I'm not taking Instagram photos what I'm wearing every single day in the city. Um, it's my favorite thing to wear. Just like a white sweater and like nice vintage jeans. They sent a lipstick, a contour stick, a skin powder. This is their pressed um skin care powder which i've been wanting to try this i was actually gonna purchase this so happy that they sent it this is the second thing i asked for um i found out with dry skin i would never ever powder my face but then obviously i would have the issues of like under eye concealer just like creasing or like going away and i was like okay like i clearly need to use powder and then i was just like i don't know why it never occurred to me before i needed a pressed powder not a loose powder if you have dry skin that might be <laughs> the secret little thing that for some reason took me so long to figure out um so i've been using a pressed powder under my eyes recently they sent me their tinted highlighter is this a powder so i love their little packaging i love the gold this is so pretty oh whoa okay that's definitely not a highlighter to me because this is way too dark for my skin tone it says super loaded tinted highlighter. I'm like kind of scared. Whoa, this is really pretty. It gets like creamy. Do you see it here? Let me swatch it on my hand. Oh my gosh, it's literally gold. They also sent, what is this? A baby cheeks blush stick. So I also just, while I was looking for concealer, randomly decided I wanted to do like a face base today. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Shanti Kai. This is their bare skin or future skin gel foundation. I'm also going to grab this little mirror. I got this for my wedding. Isn't this so pretty? It comes with like a matching, like a bristle brush and a comb. It was like a little trio set. Literally got this on Amazon. Use some of this. And I'm going to mix it with like a little glow, a little like Charlotte Tilbury glow. This is so pale. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I haven't fake tanned in so long. Like, it's probably at this point been like a whole year since I've fake tanned and like living my past, not my whole life obviously, but many, many years of fake tan. It feels so weird to just constantly be this pale. Um, last summer, I like really like legit in the sun tanned, so I at least had that going for me. But um, now, when it's not summer, I've got nothing going on. For my concealer, I'm going to use this Chanel concealer. This was definitely a little splurge I got for bridal when I was doing, like, research for my bridal makeup, which let me know if you guys want a video on this. I have, like, redness down here. I was looking for, like, the best of the best products of everything, and concealer was, like, the hardest area to find, like, the best of the best concealer. And so I was like, let me just try, like, a luxury concealer, something really nice. This definitely, like, I like it, but I don't love it, and I'm trying to, like... I think just rework with it and like make myself like it more it's not bad but i bought it because it was obviously based on the container i thought it was going to be like a thicker pot concealer which was what i was looking for but it's not as you could tell it's very liquidy like again i don't hate it it's just not what i was wanting i wanted a pot concealer and then in the pot was like a very liquidy concealer um I just think it's the packaging that like ruins it because this is a great liquid concealer but it's just hard to work with because as, as you can see I had to dip my finger in it and I feel like this would just be so much better if it had like a little applicator or, like a brush or something. Mm. I don't love it. It looks really nice today of course the today out of all days that I'm like publicly talking bad about it on camera it like looks pretty nice. I'm just using this little fluffy brush to run it out. Okay, now let's go in with what Westman Atelier sent. I'm going to use their pressed powder that they sent under the eyes on the Chanel concealer. Let me just put that under there. Let's add some of the bronzer. Right, didn't they give me a bronzer? This was the lip. Yes, they gave me that blush stick. Yes, contour stick. I knew it's like creamy but matte at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is nice. This is working. Okay. Um, so today we are getting ready 
to go out and just have like a sweet little spring day because it's spring i really want to go get some fresh flowers so bad i haven't done that in a little bit sadly the flower markets that i usually go to are closed today so we're just going to go to like a local little like florist here there's so many in the city um and me and my husband are going to go to one of our favorite little like cafe coffee shops around here this is the blush stick that they sent this is in bichette look at that color that's really pretty oh really pigmented whoa okay that might be way too much let's see how this blends out oh please okay it's a little much i don't know if you could tell because of the lighting it's really nice and bright this morning actually wait it's not that bad it's not that bad okay now we're just gonna there we go on to the hair little update looking crazy but i'm doing my hot rollers i did the bottom half of my hair now i just like split it in two sections this is truly the lazy girl hairstyle the super easy blowouts this is what i do when i'm feeling lazy because you don't have to do anything like you literally just let them sit in your hair and it's done i'm gonna spray some hairspray this is essential this is my uberless flexin hairspray i i feel like i've been talking about this lately in my videos i've been on such a health kick lately like not even just with eating and like being healthy and like having a proper like sleep routine and like a morning like waking my body up and just like taking care of myself so much more i have been going through like all of my products i think makeup is like the only thing i haven't really like fine down yet but like all of my body products from like my deodorant to my lotions my body washes my shampoo and conditioner my hair products like everything now is like vegan no parabens this is my uberless uberless is all vegan they have amazing hair care products and this is a great little fresh smelling flexible hairspray so it doesn't leave that like crispy feeling which i hate because especially when i'm doing curls i love to like brush my fingers through them and like have them be flowy and like bouncy and the thing is you need hairspray for curls but when it makes your curls like crunchy they just don't have that same like natural flow that you want so i'm just gonna spray let's do this one so you guys can see them come out so pretty this one she's already falling out gorgeous look at that little bounce this hairspray literally wait look at this look at the shine it adds to your hair like look how shiny it just made that piece i've never had a hairspray do that before and i absolutely love that like it oh, makes my hair look like silky and glossy i'm just gonna turn my head upside down and shape them like this like that with your fingers and your roots and like shake your hair they come out big and beautiful and gorgeous and then any ones that come out too much and look weird literally just finger curl them and they go right back to where they're supposed to go okay this is my outfit of the day it's actually it's too warm to have the scarf but it's kind of like what made the fit or was it cute without the scarf i liked it both ways we've got you can come a little closer show the details got vintage boots, vintage jeans, vintage sweater, <laughs> vintage scarf, <laughs> and a Saison bag. Who bought that one? You did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, this is my look for today. It's actually really warm, so I don't need the scarf, but we're gonna go walk to our favorite coffee shop. Um, well, one of them. I'm getting so nervous. In a flower store, okay. <laughs> look how pretty, aw. Street, yeah, that. it's beautiful. Spring is New York. My favorite. Okay, we're sitting at Corrado. I got an iced chai latte. It's drinking because we've been sitting here for like 25 minutes <laughs> waiting for people to leave. Because <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, I also got an almond croissant, which is my favorite. And my husband just got a black coffee. I'm gonna do journal tour bringing my journals. I have three journals that are unstarted and I have plans for all three of them and I'm going to tell you my plans. Let me get my pen. This pen I stole from the Carlisle Motel. My nails aren't done. Don't zoom. Okay. I'm going to reapply my lip gloss first before the journal haul. All three of these journals I think. Wait, not this one. These two are from Barnes & Nobles. They're really cool. You got me this one. Yeah, this I did. Gift. So, okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, my poetry book is running out of space, so this one, the French one, being the poetry book, 
right? <laughs> we got this one. This is so pretty at the Morgan Museum and Library. I'm gonna dedicate this one to my herbology studies. Okay. <laughs> I wanna study botany. Be a little botanist. This is a banger, get this. You got a banger? I need to continue on. You want to write about our travels? Gulliver's Travels. That movie with Jack Black? <laughs> write about Gulliver's Travels. They usually have a bunch more outside, but just... These are actually really pretty. I am sure. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. These tall ones are pretty. These green little ones are pretty. I like these in the middle. Okay, we got them. They're so pretty. Let's go to a better spot to film them. Like, let's go over there. Look at the flowers. They're pretty, right? They're gorgeous. So pretty. Literally my favorite combination of floral ranges of all time. Pink, green, and white. And I love these. I literally only bought these once for like my bridal Simone shoot. And I haven't bought them since. And they're so pretty. Strong, so independent women need flowers too. <laughs> Hi, update. Because I don't have a lot going on today, girls, I have like random vlog footage that I have saved up from like random things that I was going to do a collective vlog and then never did. I'm going to put those in here today. Um, I'm already home from our events today and I'm already like winding down. So before I do any like afternoon routine or anything like that, input random vlog clips from life. Hi you guys, little update to the vlog. I'm here at Kenzie's studio. We're both just working on content right now. I'm gonna show you my little setup. Just shooting right here with the sconce and I hung my wedding dress here and that was so pretty. The lighting is so good coming in from this window. So I have this little table set up and I'm gonna like set up a bunch of cute things. I have this like Vera Wang wedding book that's so pretty. Also there's construction, don't mind that. <laughs> but I literally love this wedding book. If you can find this, literally one of my favorite coffee table books that I own. I've got tons of little details with me. This is the vintage like lace that I got, like the ribbon for my bouquet, which is funny because I posted this on my story and I was like, actually this isn't the one that I'm getting and then I decided I loved it too much. So I got it. This is obviously our wedding band. This is like my wedding fragrance in here. I have my wedding jewelry in here. So I'm gonna take some pictures of that. Um, these are these gorgeous champagne glasses that I got for us. They have peonies on them. There was kind of like a theme of peonies at my wedding and these are obviously also in my bouquet. So I'm gonna shoot all like, right over here and then I think we're shooting something for you too, right? Yeah. Look at this dress, I'm obsessed. I have this dress actually, I might bring oh, it on my honeymoon. Yeah. yeah, they sent it to me. Oh, I think I'm gonna bring it on my we honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, we can twin. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm obsessed with my wedding earrings. Like, these are so beautiful. They are vintage, so, so sorry. There will no, be no link in the description. And then I did get a lot of questions about my bracelet because of the picture that I posted on my Instagram. It's also vintage, but it's got these little pearls and it matches with the earrings so seamlessly. They're not even from the same brand, but they look so good together. And then also vintage, I got this at the Grand Bazaar here in New York. I have this really pretty little brooch pin that held my kind of like hood cape veil together. And I love mixing like the silver and gold. And then these, I just have these in here for decoration. These are little dried flowers from a bouquet that my husband gave me that I kept because these were so tiny and so cute. So I just kind of have those in there. Okay, we're back home. Just fixing myself up a little bit. Also, if you see, don't mind the messy bed. I literally just filmed a haul. Um, as you know me, I hate filming <laughs> at nighttime. So we're literally going to be filming. The, not only that I hate filming at nighttime, so we're filming the end of the vlog now, but I also am such a major introvert, I barely leave my apartment, so <laughs> um, I'm literally going to be doing like nothing for the end of the night. And I want to talk about my nighttime routine because I feel like I have perfected this like a beautiful nighttime routine that I get perfect sleep and it makes me feel so much better and I love it. So obviously things start like, I would say like an hour to two hours before I start going to bed, mentally preparing myself to like wind down. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the products I love to use. First things first is tea. I've been really getting into like these types of just like natural teas, not even like loose leaf, like straight from, this is the jasmine flower. So far this jasmine one is my favorite that I love to have just like in the afternoon or right before bed, it's just, 
so calming. I don't know if jasmine is specifically one of the teas that is like meant to have a calming effect but it does for me and I love it so usually the way that I'll make this is I like obviously boil my water on the kettle and then I have one of these so this one that I have is from Nina's I got this last time I was in Paris and I just put all the flowers in here and it looks so beautiful so I'm gonna make a little cup of tea then a little beauty um, moment I do like to do some sort of masking especially if I know that I'm like chilling for a while before bed. So whether it's a face mask or a hair mask, I always put a hair oil in my ends before I go to bed. I changed into my jammies, my pink little stripey, um, these are my Valentine's Day jammies. I love them. I've got my tea. I'm being very careful. It's still literally steaming. It's so hot. It smells so good. With all my necessities, oh, I left my rose water over there. It's okay, I haven't done my skincare yet to wash my makeup off. It still looks really glowy from this morning. My, la my brows got a little messed up. But I wanted to film a nice little outro for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoy these like random little day in my life vlogs. I like filming them. I think they're fun just including you in my life and just like what I'm doing on like a normal everyday basis. I know for living in New York City, I don't do like fun crazy things, but if you want me to do more like, I don't know, maybe like fashion events that I go to, I usually don't vlog those things. Um, I just post them on my social media. So my social media links will be in the below. If It will be below in the description if you want to check them out. But if you want me to start like vlogging them as well I will and travel vlogs I know I just came back from my honeymoon but obviously that was my honeymoon I'm not gonna like bring a vlog camera um I like to also live my life off of social media that is it for this video I will definitely like I said leave my social media links below if you want to see more about my life I'll also link the uber list products that I talked about in this video below um and all of my favorites down there so that you can shop them that is it I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video Mwah.